What's up, y'all? This is your boy Ra Ra checking in. You know what I mean? I want to give a shout out first of all to my bro, Rome. You know what I mean? DDC, Digital Dance Culture. You know what I mean? In the whole dance community, I want to give y'all a salute. Your boy Ra Ra checking in from my headquarters here in Atlanta, North Cross, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And um, right now, I am the owner and facilitator of Beltline Studios Power by Media Vision. We are the number one production content house here in Georgia. We are the second largest uh, largest black-owned film facility in Georgia, next to Tyler Perry, um, located here in Gwinnett. And um, you know, we're the largest in Gwinnett. Um, one of the things about my vision that I had the most, um, I think, success and manifestation was to have a facility that could secure the creative and the intellectual properties and the creative minds of our young black people, our young youth, our young men and women, kings and queens, to be able to have a facility that um, was able to sustain high-end you know, uh, business and um, attach ourselves to the platform that makes billions of dollars, which is our culture. Um, the hip-hop culture is one of the most dynamic cultures in the world, of course y'all know that. Um, but to be able to be a facilitator of something that I believed in was what could you do to, instead of talking? For me, this was an investment that made sense more than anything in the world. Because if I could secure the base to create uh, content production where we can actually create, um, produce, um, and control the narrative of what we produce, our intellectual properties, our creative um, ideas, and um, creative content, I think this would be a great idea, uh, a great situation to really um, secure our change in economic and society, our economics and society. Like, if we don't, as a culture, change our financial situation, we can't change our, our, our civil situations, our living situations. There's always going to be inequality, racist shit going on, and there's always going to be a situation where we have to make a decision on what we're going to do. We're going to talk or we're going to be about it. Well, this investment for me was me being about it. And to create a hub, which is 33,000 square feet of warehouse space, executive services, executive offices. Um, we have an academy relationship right now. We just did a partnership deal with DDC and um, Sting Revolution. That's very, very important to me because our youngsters are our future. And with the Hip Hop Ether Foundation being the platform of this facility, um, we just actually secured a great sponsorship relationship relationship with a couple companies um, that's going to invest into that platform. Hip Hop Ether is a um, a foundation a platform that I introduced in 2003 in Cincinnati, um, which was a platform to introduce education and awareness about, um, you know, um, economics, financial literacy, you know, healthy life uh, choices, you know what I mean, and the business of what we're doing as our culture. This entertainment business is so much more than just music, and it was very important to make sure that we did that. So, um, Hip Hop Ether was introduced and it has been implemented in different major cities, um, and uh, Cincinnati being the first, uh, we also did it in St. Louis and in Chicago. Um, came back to Atlanta after a stint in Cincinnati for a while, and tried to reacclimate it here in Atlanta, but there was so much going on in Atlanta, of course. So um, I had a partner link uh, reach out to me, and I hooked up, um, and I ended up being the keynote speaker at Tuskegee University for a few years. Um, as a keynote speaker on the Entrepreneurial Summit through my foundation. And one of my um, platforms, um, I introduced you know, the concept of education through hip hop entertainment resources. And that's pretty much getting how we live. Our youngsters can't be talked to or talked at. They need to be talked with and hear what they got to say and what they want to do. It's not a traditional society no more. So this was a way to be able to reach the youngsters and be able to tell them what they needed to do um, from a standpoint of experience, but let them take their own realm and their own decision making and, and let them do their thing. You know, we have to change the dynamics of how we think and how we operate because, you know, things are different right now. So for me, um, my role was more of a facilitator or a vessel, you know what I mean? Because I've been through a lot, you know, I've been blessed, you know, um, you know and uh, I don't have any complaints. You know what I mean? I got three healthy young children, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, and, and they're doing very well in life. So for me, my blessings are manifesting on, on a lot of levels. Um, you know, two beautiful grandchildren definitely are sparking me. And a lot of special people in my life that plays a part in that motivation. But to say in this business and in this society, 
you can't be heartless, but you got to use your heart less and understand there's a responsibility and accountability for us to do something more than talk. And this is me. This is your boy Rob Ross signing off. Shout out to DDC and all my young kings and queens out here doing their thing. Shout out to the entertainment business and the sports business and everybody doing business on an intellectual level as well. Tech, you know, science, animation. You know, we coming, we getting to that check, not the bag. You know, this is the upgrade, you know, and uh, with the culture and the, I guess the, the situation going on with our society today, you got an enterprise to step out the box. I have 15 restaurants overseas in Finland and Sweden. I was also the recipient of the 2017 Barack Obama Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, um, I have a, a, a foundation that's being sponsored by three major companies right now. You know, and, um, and I'm a very successful businessman that got it from the mud. So for anybody to tell you you can't, you know, secure your dreams and the way you live and the way you want, you know, just vibrate higher, elevate, you know what I mean, and know that, you know, you are what you're supposed to be. Salute. Rah-Rah ENT.